carp in you. Okay, so I think they're carrying on that way, so... Just trying to find a way around and keep up with the vehicle. So we're going to try and just go around this little bit here. So hopefully, if they get to the open area, I'll be able to see them a little bit better. So they're still there, that side. Still haven't seen visual of them yet. I'm just keeping up with the vehicle. There, I think I see them. Yeah, they are. Yeah, I can see them up ahead. Possibly going towards Triple M, heading towards the sandy patch. Just onto the right there. Okay, they're just over the road. Thank you so much. <laughs> Can you see them? Are you getting visual there? Just here. So apparently it could be Tandy. Where did she go? There, just here. There's a pair of them together. There they go. I'm just going to try and see if I can keep up with them. No. <laughs> Bushwhacking to find leopards. It has been exciting, hasn't it? And say it's uh, it's great to see the cat at the end of it. I think I know what happened, why we couldn't find them to begin with. I think uh, we misunderstood where they were. Uh, we kept hearing Gallego shortcut, but I think they were actually then saying Aubrey's Road, but they were saying Ops Road. I'm just trying to keep them in sight. I'm hoping we're going to be able to get through this section here. There we go. Please just slow down, guys. <laughs> there we go. Going into the drainage line here. Just crossing over there. There she is, just to the left of us. stations I've still got visual I'm just north of Impala Plains 
look at that everybody I hope I hope you feel this has been worth it sure that's probably the longest section of bunda bashing that I've actually done in a very very long time hello beautiful girl so if we can get a positive ID on this leopard I think it's they said it was Tandy, but as I say, you guys know these cats so well. Uh, go ahead. Affirmative. I'm not entirely sure exactly where I am. I think I'm north of Impala Plains. But if you want to come to the Impala Plains, and um, hopefully I'll be able to hear your mover, and I'll be able to direct you from there. Oh, they're playing a little game. She's gone down into the crouch position. It almost looks like she's going to pounce on him. Hello, beautiful girl. Actually, I can hear your voices. Oh, hello. Is he coming around the back of the vehicle? Yes, he is. Brilliant. Thanks, James. Female is Tandy. Then we have the big male who's uh, used the vehicle, I think, as uh, shelter. I thought he was going to come and pounce on her. Look at this. Oh, amazing. So, okay, I think people are saying this is Tingana as well, but if you guys want to help us with the ID and confirm that, that would be great. There he is. Are you guys just going to stay here and chill? He looks like he's on a mission. He looks like a big boy as well. Look at that dewlap. I'd really appreciate not going back into that drainage line, mister. No, you really don't need to go back in there. Andrew, Andrew, come in. Andrew, um, I've lost audio of you. Uh, from when I just said I could hear your voice, um, I was south east of where you were. Yeah, I've, um, I've still got visual. Um, the, my daughter's making a circle behind us now, and the Mafazi's still with us. Oh, she's beautiful. So this is Tandy. This is Karula's first cub. But yeah... Tangana is just, he's actually just behind us, he's sniffing the ground, but he is coming back, she seems to be pretty settled. How special is this? So they were on the move, we arrived and now they're settled. Oh, absolutely fantastic. And here he comes again, just, I think, coming up from the drainage line to our left again. Oh, he's on our right. He's just here. <sighs> I don't know if you could hear a little growl from her as well. Wow, this is absolutely amazing. I'm I'm not sure what he's looking for, but he's he's he does look like his belly's not full, so it could be that he's trying to pick up the scent of, of something to hunt possibly or whether he's actually checking for other female leopards around here, seeing if they're in estrus. 
This is really unusual. I've not seen this behaviour. Go ahead. Copy, I can hear you. Uh, you need to come directly north from where you are. Rudy is on a mission. Have we got a confirmation this is Tingana? Are all the viewers happy that it is Tingana? Actually, Tandy is just, just out of sight, just behind the vehicle. She's like five meters. Okay, so quite a few viewers are saying it's Tingana. I'm just gonna try and help this other vehicle in. Look at this. Sierra looking acting like a big bloodhound dog he really is Andrew I've got audio keep coming I'll let you know when I get a visual of you uh, this uh, the Mafazi is still a lot of pans. Uh, the Madorda is just uh, mobile, but just circling around the area. I think if you can try and stay on the southern side of the Donga. Copy. Uh, might be on the move now. Um, so if you want to uh, switch off, I'll see if I can switch my vehicle on so you can hear me. Try and pull out of here. It's amazing what these vehicles can do, I promise you. Uh, stations uh, mobile, uh, I've got your visual. Uh, Andrew, you need to go right from where you are. The Mafazi is uh, just up ahead of me. She's coming out into the open now. Obviously, we try and limit any damage to the bush as much as possible. And the males, yeah, he's on a mission. Uh, sorry, can you repeat that last message? There she is. There's a little thick knee. <laughs> um, sorry, there was a little thick knee right in front, kind of keeping very, very still, hoping not to draw attention to itself. There they are. So a few of you are asking about Shongile and if she's in danger at all, and if she's close by. Apparently Shongile uh, headed off the termite mound um, and I think she went in the opposite direction to where these guys were. So it did get a little bit confusing at one stage as to what was going on. But I don't think she, she is in any danger at all. But I really do want to know what what he is up to. Because if you, if you kind of speak to people who know leopards, they kind of, or, or 
semi no leopards. Um, it's believed that they don't really have a good sense of smell. They can still have a, they still have the sense of smell, but it's not so good. But judging by his what he's doing, I still think we've underestimated how good their sense of smell actually is. But he really is like no to ground, like you said, bloodhound. Now, is she going to go onto a termite mound? Because he's going in the opposite direction. She's kind of like, ah, no, I've had enough now. <laughs> Sandy uh, saying, I hope he's not looking for Tamba. I hope so too. But yeah, really interesting behavior going on there. Now she's gone on top of the termite mound. So he's doing a circle back towards the road. Could well be making sure that the uh, another big male is nowhere in the vicinity. Making sure that this female is not going to be taken by another male. So it sounds like everyone is happy that this is Tingana and Tandy on the termite man. Now Tingana actually forced uh, Mvula out of the area. So Mvula's tenure has not been very long, but look at that dewlap. He really is an impressive male. Still quite small compared to the leopards uh, in the sea site in Leidenburg, but still he is a beautiful boy. Oh, we got our leopards, everybody. Oh, I really feel like we've worked for them. <laughs> I really do. There's the male again. So we may have to try and avoid seeing the vehicles uh, on the screen, so uh, I will try and reposition once they've repositioned themselves. We'll see if we can get another view of Tandy on the termite mound. Okay, I might have to pull out and make some space. So I'm just going to check because we may have to make space because they made space for us. And then we might be able to come back to the leopard sighting once everyone's had their sighting. Andrew, can I just check, is there another vehicle interested in this lot? Because I'll pull out. Uh, okay, copy. No, no problem. We'll stay with them then. Okay, it doesn't sound like there is another vehicle interested. So she's she's trying to keep up with him. Shame, he's really putting her through her paces. <laughs> but uh, I think we're going to try and reposition and Tristan is going to catch up with you. Absolutely fantastic. I'm so glad we got to to see these beautiful cats. Absolutely fantastic. So I hope Tristan's been having fun. <laughs> we'll see what he's got for you. Well, I have, I have been having fun because I've been practicing my Morse code skills because that's all I'm getting from the record.